I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna take a look. This this wow, unbelievable. So okay, uh You guys weren't kidding when you guys said this thing is jam-packed with references. Like the, with the eleven minute runtime they had, they made as they made to make but, but, can't talk, I'm so excited. They made sure to pack as much just Sonic fan goodness into this as possible. It is crazy the amount of stuff they have in it. Like almost every five or ten seconds there is a reference in here. From the music to, to, to how the characters are drawn, posed, what's happening, what what's being said. It's it's insane. Like it's the OKKO okay, okay, uh, creators are said to be big Sonic fans. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. After seeing this episode, I 100% see it. It's like, I, I, in 11 minutes, in just 11 minutes, this has as much love as, as it, as was needed for a Sonic based episode without Sonic completely stealing the show, uh, and having, I'm not familiar with OKKO, OK but the show seems all right. I might actually start giving a few episodes a, a, a couple of watches. This is this is a great way to get new eyes onto the show, right? Is have Sonic show up, and a lot of Sonic fans are gonna look at this and be like, you know what? Maybe I'll check out the show. But I will say this: um, I, I'm just I, there's so many things to talk about here that I'm, I'm losing track of what I want to say, and I want to make sure I talk about everything. Um, I'm sure I missed like a few hundred references in this, but like. Can you blame me? There's so many in here. Okay, so add OKKO OK to the ever-growing list of Sonic cameos that actually got the character right. Let's see, he's shown up off the top of my head in a Simpsons episode. He's shown up on probably Mad TV. He's shown up in Disney's Wreck-It Ralph. Looks great there for the few, what, like 20, 30 seconds he shows up total in that. Ready Player One, despite not being my favorite movie, it's not good, really. Even the five seconds he showed up in that was fine. Uh, uh, trying to think, what else? Uh, um, yeah, it's just like everything but his own movie seems to understand what Sonic is as a concept. And this right here is, you could already tell there's so much passion and heart and love put into this compared to, and again, I, it's not fair to say it, you know, I haven't seen the movie yet. We all haven't seen the movie yet. Hell, we haven't even seen the redesign yet. But, from what we can all, most of people can tell from seeing the movie, it's just another, ca you know, another shameless Hollywood grab of IP, random IP meets real world live action generic plot of we have to hide you from the government, the government's coming after said character, IP, character, whatever, and we have to hide you and make sure you get back to your world and all, it's just the generic... Like, when I think of Sonic, you know, I think of my favorite characters, uh, the random cop character, uh, and, and my favorite Sonic location, Green Hills, Nevada, or wherever the, <laughs> wherever the heck that movie's supposed to take place. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, really? Uh, anyway, people have said this a million times over. The last thing I want to say about the movie is like, Sonic, honestly, I think works better in animated form. They should, the movie, the Sonic movie should have just been animated, and if we had to have a movie, just make it animated. If you're not going to do 2D, drawn animated, there's different ways to do animation. CG, like, uh, 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 even do a Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse would have been perfect graphics for a Sonic movie. Anyway, I'm sorry to harp on the Sonic movie. Eventually, we always wind up going back to Sonic movie. But, okay, KO, just, it's just a great job of just, like, portraying the character. Sonic being egotistical, impatient, brash, uh, Tails being helpful. The little buddy sidekick, and of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad that they kind of did the whole reconciliation thing between Sonic and Tails, because I'm sure there were some very angry Tails fanboys, who probably still put comments in the, you know, angry comments in the section below, Sonic was too mean in this episode, he was he treated Tails like crap and I hate it. Calm down, guys, it's, it's an 11 minute short episode, it's not that, it's not that serious, just jokes. Alright, anyway, I'm um, trying to think what else happened in this, uh, uh, the fact that Knuckles got a brief cameo, I mean like, wow, just they packed this thing in tight with just love and respect for the franchise in 11 minutes. I got more out of this than I did the, the god dang Sonic movie trailer, and the, mo the only thing I got out of that trailer was Jim Carrey's gonna probably be the most entertaining thing about that movie. Um, yeah, just crazy, just... 
Also, Cream the Rabbit got a name drop. It took a crossover episode for them to reference Cream the Rabbit. She exists. They haven't forgotten about her. I'm sorry, I'm still a little salty about the Team Sonic Racing thing, but hey, Cream the Rabbit, getting name drops and also appearing in the recent comics. It's great to have her back in name drop reference in every single form but in game now. Ain't that crazy? Can we get the OK Cre KO creators after the finish of OK Cre ah, excuse me, OK KO to maybe work on a Sonic TV show since Sonic Boom may or may not be coming back? I'm thinking it's not coming back. It's been forever and we haven't heard anything about it. I would be 100% okay with these guys working on a new Sonic cartoon in a different style or whatever because these guys seem to get it. And within 11 minutes, the, f the, the fact that they are able to portray the characters well, get, you know, get a somehow meld their narrative with OKKO OK with Sonic's narrative and have so much stuff in here and still have it be coherent enough for people who are not fans of Sonic or maybe OKKO OK to follow what's happening. Good job. 11 minute runtime is really hard to just get that much stuff in there and they managed it. So, uh, wow. It, again, if I missed any references, because there's just so, there's just too many, man. But everything from the music, the, the quotes, it's, it's just, it's jam-packed. Really good. A lot of Adventures of Sonic love here. And ironically enough, I, the voice actor for the villain, I think the main villain of the show, is also the villain for Sonic Sad AMs, or the same voice actor for Sonic Sad AM uh, Robotnik, which is, I could recognize that voice. He has a very distinct sounding voice. Really cool. Um, there's just something, and it's just like, I know a lot of people, the last thing I'm gonna say before we end this, that Sonic gets a bad rep because, you know, oh, blah blah blah, Sonic fans this, Sonic, Sonic fans that, they're cringy, blah blah blah. I think Sonic is a great, wholesome series, and I, I like that they have the, the little bit of wholesomeness in there. I, I know a lot of people like to harp on the recent Sonic games, the new modern Sonic games post Lost World in Colors about how Sonic's too friendly, too jokey, too... You know, too much, too much teamwork, yada yada. Let, we can do this. We're all together, all that kind of thing, and less of how he was portrayed in, say, Sonic Adventure 2, where he was more serious, or even Black Knight, where people say he was good in that one too, and he's now too jokey and stuff like that. I feel this had the perfect balance of that, where he's still a bit of an a-hole. That's kind of Sonic's character, but he cares about people. You saw in this one, he was even willing to jump into a water where he can't swim to save a kid. Uh, Again, just so much love to the characters. And Tails being a little sidekick and everything. It's just... <sighs> tricking Knuckles. Just, I'm sorry. There's, it's, it's... Bravo, guys. Good job, OKKO, guys. I will watch a few episodes and see if this show is for me. This... You guys did it. You guys, you nailed it. Anyway, um... But, let me know what you guys think of this OKKO OK Sonic crossover episode. Are there references I missed? Because I'm sure there are. Uh, um, be sure to let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments below. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Werewolf Wolfie for more videos like this one if you have not already. Also, um, I stream, so be sure to check out the streams every Friday and Saturday at 1pm Central Time on Twitch and here on this YouTube channel. This very YouTube channel you're watching now. I'm going to go ahead and call it. I think that's everything I wanted to talk about with this. I will give this short... A nine point nine point four and a half out of ten and stars. A A grade material right here. Good job, guys. You did it. Um, much love from the Sonic community for for doing the franchise justice. When we have the Sonic movie next year, about to do some damage to it, maybe. I hope I eat my words. I hope I, I hope I eat those words that the movie is is bad. I, ho I hope it actually turns out good somehow, but we'll see. The design is 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 one of the main. It's not one of the main things. Like the movie itself, the story plot and everything seems very hokey Hollywood throwaway. I'm hoping they eh, they're not gonna fix that. They're not reshooting anything, but at least the design may look better. Hopefully, hopefully. By the way, I should mention that this video went up early for any of my patrons on my Patreon page. Uh, just a small perk. I'm trying to think of ways to get, you know, to to give people a reason to become a patron on my Patreon on my Patreon page. Jeez. 
So I'm gonna start doing like maybe early access type video deals. So I'm working it out as we go. But for the one patron I have right now, as of the date of this recording, you get to see this video early. Yay for you. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. So stay tuned. This video is sponsored by my patron, Hedge. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys would like to support the channel and become a patron, go to patreon.com slash werewolfwolfie. A link is in the description of the video below, or it should pop up on the actual video. Thanks again, guys. 